This is the magnificent St Albans Cathedral, the oldest site of continuous Christian worship in Britain, so it's packed full of history. But who was St Alban? Well, Alban was a Roman who was living in Roman Britain in around 300 AD. It was during this time under Diocletian that Christians were persecuted, but Alban, it seems, was sympathetic to their plight and he hid a Christian priest, a man called Amphibolus, from the authorities. Alban then became a Christian himself, he swapped places with Amphibolus and was executed for his beliefs. And this made him Britain's first Christian saint. The location of his martyrdom is pretty close to where I'm standing right now. And it was on this site that the great St Alban's Cathedral was built. And there are two shrines here, one for Alban and one for the priest Amphibolus. A few centuries later, in around 793, a monastery was founded here by King Offa of Mercia, and this became one of the richest, the most powerful Benedictine monasteries in the country. The famous chronicler, Matthew Paris, was one of the monks here, and he wrote all of his famous works at the monastery, including the Chronica Majura and Historia Anglorum. But in 1539, as a result of the Reformation under King Henry VIII, the monastery was dissolved and the church was bought by the town, becoming the parish church. It fell into disrepair over the years, but it was restored to its former glory in the Victorian period, becoming a cathedral in 1877. And today it's still flourishing, and St Alban is still at the centre of worship. Thursday the 22nd of June is St Alban's Day, and Saturday the 24th of June is the annual Alban Pilgrimage, a pretty spectacular procession through the town, which I recommend you come and see if you can. Otherwise, follow the cathedral page and come and visit yourself. There's so much history here. There's a Norman tower which you can go up. There's the longest nave in England. It's got medieval wall paintings, the shrines of St Alban and Amphibolus, and the abbot's kitchen, the cafe. And here you can try a St Alban's bun, aka the original hot cross bun.